The amazing thing about documentaries is they have the capability of being containers of empathy. Since they are about real people and, and since what is happening is so pure and inescapable that actually you can look at these pictures of these other people going through this and it, it, it can open your heart. I have one resident that Billy opened her eyes, she didn't respond. As much as I tried, I knew her for two years. No matter what I tried, massage wouldn't work, nothing worked. In America, 50% of people have dementia, and 40% in nursing homes get no visitors ever. None. Zero. Never. I knew if I made this film that I could actually, for the first time in my life, like have the capability of changing life, of literally taking people who are in sorrow a, a great deal of their life, who are, who are living in a drugged state, actually, for, for large portions of their time, and I could help, I could be part of, of changing life for millions of people. And, I, and I, this is a challenge, a worthy challenge for me, and that's why I took on this film, and it's what I want like everybody to do. I want people to see this film and say, oh, this is something very simple. And he used to always sit on the unit with his head like this. He didn't really talk to much people. And then when I introduced the music to him, this is his, his reaction ever since. <laughs> How come we all know how to, how to do music? Well, because we spent maybe hundreds of thousands of years developing our brain, this thing called our capacity to understand music. Music is faith. It is the belief that there will be this moment and there will be the next. And that's what these people have lost. Do you like music? Yeah, I'm crazy about music. You play beautiful music, beautiful sound. Did you, did you play music when you were, uh, were you, did you like music when you were young? Yes, yes, I went to big dances and things. W what was your favorite music when you were young? Well, well I guess, uh, well, Cab Calloway was my number one band guy I liked. Uh, what was your fav favorite Cab Calloway song? Oh... I'll be home there for Christmas. Oh, you can count plans on me with plenty of snow, mistletoe, present, wrap around you tree. Ow. There's an enormous problem in American nursing homes with the overuse of antipsychotic medications. You know, I mean, it, even the U.S. government knows it. That's why right now they're doing a, uh, the first ever pilot program. It's called the Music and Memory Initiative. And Dan Cohen, the director of Music and Memory, the man who I followed, is consulting with them. 100 nursing homes in Wisconsin are doing a, the first ever federally funded pilot program to see if giving people personalized music can reduce the use of antipsychotic medications in these institutions. And we did another study in, in Goldwater in New York City and it reduced the use of antipsychotics by 25%. That's huge. 25% efficacy is insane. The best drugs that we have for Alzheimer's disease have an efficacy of this much more than a placebo. If there were a drug that could do what personalized music does for these people, it would be a multi-billion dollar drug. And we can't even get the U.S. government to make personalized music reimbursable. Denise? What? Would you like to listen to some music now? Are you gonna give me that? Yeah, I am. This is yours to keep. So why do you want me to listen to? Uh, well, let's try it out. Okay, you want to put these on your... You on your ears? Okay, I can put it on. Okay, tell me how it fits. Is that okay? I'll put it, Is it com Okay, make it comfortable. Okay. Okay. I've lived in two years and never fought. Good. Maybe 
perversas que quieren hacer mi vida de cuadritos. Liberé de chicas sin escrúpulos. These old people, they made your fortunes, music industry. They're the ones that made all these, your, your, your back catalog that's worth all that money, it's because they bought it 15, 20 times. You know, they have, they have all this music in their home. They left it there. Come on, let's get it back to them. It's just very simple. Let's just give them back what, they, what they've given us. Thank you very much, Michael Rosato Bennett. Thank you, that's the best interview I've had. Yet.